Hello from Positano. We finally arrived in Italy. Well, I guess we arrived in Italy this morning. So we flew into Rome and then we had to drive from Rome to Positano. So we literally just got to the place we're staying at and I'm really excited. The view is so amazing. Let me just give you guys a tour really quick. If you guys follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you probably have seen that I missed my flight. And it was the first flight, so it was Austin to Boston. And basically, the reasoning was, is that I had my vaccination card. It was literally nine days expired. I got a COVID test. The results weren't in by the time we had to check in. And we kind of thought we had to have like the negative COVID test 72 hours before we went to Rome. So that's why we got it on Friday, Friday, right? Yeah. And so we didn't know that we would have to show the COVID test like when we were still in the States. Anyways, I could not get on the flight because the vaccination card was nine days expired. And the lady at the front desk said it was just probably easier and faster to just get your booster shot. So got that bad boy at 9.30 a.m., missed our flight, had to reschedule, had to pay a shitload of money to rebuy the flight because it was bought like so many months ago. It was such a cheap ticket and then I had to like, you know, obviously like rebuy the flight and pay the difference and it was not fun. So I honestly just don't even want to talk about it, don't even want to be reminded of it because I just feel so stupid. Um, and I should have gotten like an antigen test. I thought you could only get a PCR test and it had to be like 72 hours before. I don't know. I was just like really confused with all that. Um, and it definitely cost you girls some, some money. <laughs> um, but we're here now and I'm very, very grateful and so excited to be here for two weeks. So we're gonna be in Positano for a week and then we're gonna go to Florence, Rome, no, Florence, Venice, and Rome. So, and we actually flew into Rome, so we got like a little taste of that too. On the way here, we stopped in Napoli, Naples, and then we also went through Sorrento. So we kind of got to see everything today. I'm not really sure what we're doing tonight. Probably going to dinner. Ryan's in the shower right now. I should probably shower and get ready because I feel disgusting. After like, has it been two days of traveling? I don't even know. Like time is just passing and I've been like asleep for the past like 24 hours because I pass out on the plane so easily, which is a blessing. And I pretty much slept through the whole flight, maybe watched like one movie, woke up for meals and stuff. And then the drive here, I was just like knocked out. So thank God, because it definitely helps to pass the time. And I'm not torturing myself by like just being up for nine hour flight. But on the flight from Atlanta to Rome, since I got my booster shot that morning, I was like really feeling just like achy. I don't know if it was because I was sitting for nine hours or because I just got the shot and like um, some bodies react to it and some bodies don't. So I was just like, oh shoot. But I'm feeling a lot better now. So I don't know, it might've been the plane, but the arm's still sore. So I'm just gonna keep rubbing and probably start to get ready. Just filmed this makeup look for TikTok and did like a little slick back ponytail because my hair is disgusting right now. And I'm wearing this top from Princess Polly, got my white Abercrombie jeans on and I'm about to head upstairs. Officially day one in Positano. This morning we woke up, I showered, I washed my hair, feeling like a brand new person. And we had some breakfast upstairs. I got like scrambled eggs and 
Oh my god, they had like tomatoes and fresh mozzarella and I think that's my new thing. Like I am obsessed with it. It's so yummy. And we're going on a boat today. We're gonna ride up the Amalfi Coast. Right now, me and Ryan are gonna just go down to the famous beach and check it out and walk through. We have to be back here by like two to get on the boat by like three, I believe. So today's gonna be a really fun day. I feel like you can wear white more. Okay, this is the same size as these. Uh, I need to check out how more. Yeah. More versatile, yeah. yeah. Yay. Okay. Brian ripped his khakis, so. <laughs> We're going pant shopping. We walked down some stairs and we are in front of some shops. We just got some linen pants for Ryan, which I've been wanting him to get some linen stuff for a while, so I'm glad that his khakis ripped. But yeah, that kind of sucks but our legs are trembling walking down those stairs and I thought it would be that, like walking up, but like walking down. Holy crap, they're shaking so badly. And it's been like 10 minutes since we walked down. They haven't stopped. The lighting's kind of weird in here, but we're in another shop and Ryan found some cotton khakis. He was originally trying to find those, and at first we didn't think they would have like his size, but everyone does. And there's so many like cute men's clothing here, and also girls' clothing. Oh, too small. This is a real Nucci. Hi. Oh, Nucci. Nucci straight from Italia. We keep seeing little dogs everywhere, and we just saw two Yorkies and they missed them. So if you watch this video, <laughs> we didn't mean to leave you. We could have brought you. Speaking of dogs. Hi, Bobby. Are we here? Is this the beach? Is that it? People are in the water. Should I go swimming? <laughs> Very yeah, tempting. All these baby clothes make me want to have a baby. We just got to the dock, but we're actually only leaving at 3.30 and it's not even three yet. So we're gonna chill and hang by the water. The water is so beautiful. I want to jump in so bad, but I know it's going to be extremely cold, so I probably won't, but it's really, really pretty. It's warm? No way. Okay, ow. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, wait, no, it's cold. It's cold. Okay, that's not horrible. It's not bad.
day two here in Positano. I feel like I didn't really talk in yesterday's vlog that much, but we took a boat and we went all around the Amalfi Coast. It was stunning. It was the perfect day. And even today is like a really nice day. The weather's really great, but at the end of the week, I don't think it's gonna be that great, which I'm really manifesting for good weather, um, but there might be a little bit of rain. But today we're gonna do a little day trip to Pompeii. I literally slept in, not really, because it's like 8.44, <laughs> and we were supposed to be out there by 8.45, um, but I tried to get every last drop of sleep I could get, and then I didn't really have time to do my hair, but I did my makeup really quick. I have this Abercrombie bodysuit on, my go-to jeans, then just some sneakers, and then I'm gonna probably bring a sweater. There yes. Yeah. We've got two more people coming. Yeah. How long would it take? An hour and ten? Uh, one hour. One hour. Yeah. Where are we going? Raj. Okay. I think it's huge right now coming from the Yeah, you just have to wait. Yeah, this look, this window is very wide. There's literally two people eating right there. <laughs> These streets are so small. I have literally been almost hit by a bus two times now because the buses are like this close to the cars. And then there's like parallel parking for every little Fiat. All these cars are so small, except for the buses. We made it to Pompeii and the ride over here was crazy, Ryan. So sick, so it is over. Yeah. I don't know how you were sleeping, I'm like shit. I was like knocked out. Navina got us a tour guide. So I think it's a two hour tour and like apparently we're not even gonna get through half or like a quarter of this whole city. Good thing I wore tennis shoes today. <laughs> As you can see, we are in a crossroad, so again, east to west, the Gumani, north to south, Cardi, and as you can see, the left, no space for the passenger cars. Arts must stand a standard size, a standard measure, because here, there is a standard size all around Pompeii. So if you arrive with a bigger car, you couldn't enter in. You needed to hire other cars, you needed to pay my ancestors. So this was something to decorate on the spot. They were working, crafting stones in order to remake the capitals for the top of the college. We can see the restoration project in progress at the time. That's why we need to remind the date to see the picture. And then you need the statue, you see, in the middle of that this was the Emperor's temple. There is a bull here, there is a man here with a little pan eh, collecting the blood from the animal. Here there is the altar for the sacrifice. Okay. One right up to two. Symbolic of me. That symbol was everywhere. When I say everywhere, I mean the women are jewelry with the shape. Uh, and at the entrance of a house, uh, hanging on the top of the door, uh, you can find a penis uh, with wings, uh, a flame penis, I would say, bringing fortune to the house. It was everywhere. The suit from the slope of the lava rock I told you initially. So we just got done with the tour and we only saw one body which the whole time I was like thinking that bodies were just going to be like in the rooms where they were but I think they like moved them to like exhibits and so we're trying to find that now. Finally 
found the bodies at the museum, but I really thought there was going to be way more bodies here. For some reason, I just like imagine that. Um, but we're going to go to the car. I think it's about a two hour drive back. It's like a nice history lecture. The guy was like the cool history teacher, you know? Yeah, he did well. Kind of kept, me, kept me intrigued. Still was nodding off a little bit. I was yeah, I know. <laughs> Okay, this key place was right outside of Pompeii. Yeah, yeah. So, let's see what they got. You got kind of for us? Ooh, these sandwiches look good. Okay, this is the sandwich I got. Prosciutto, tomatoes, mozzarella. Looks delicious. We are back in the villa and I fell asleep on the way there and then I think everyone fell asleep on the way back which was very nice because I think we were all dead from like walking all over the place but we only spent like well the tour was like two hours so I think maybe like three hours max there and like it's such a big place that you could really spend like all day there or at least like you know a couple of hours I'm really thankful that we did the guided tour because I feel like if we didn't we would be walking around aimlessly and just not know like anything even if you watch like youtube videos it's always better to hear it from someone like local so that was really cool and he was just like telling us so many things it's like hard to even like remember but it was awesome in the moment um and now it is currently 3 30 p.m and i brought out my computer because i have so much work to do um and i haven't touched my computer since i left the united states i'm pretty sure I, it's been on my bag this whole time. I'm honestly getting a little overwhelmed. So I'm gonna knock out some like galleries and maybe edit a video and then I can feel a little bit better. This is a true vacation because I feel like the last trip we did was Big Bend and I'm pretty sure we did that on like more of a weekend, but obviously we'll be here for two weeks. So we'll definitely still need to be working, um, but it's hard to find the time to see everything and work at the same time. But I think definitely next week will be a lot more chill because it'll just be me and Ryan. Here's the setup. We're just letting my computer charge really quick. And yes, that's Milky Way bar because I need my chocolate, okay? <laughs> I bought that at like an airport store, which probably wasn't the smartest idea, but and that's my view. Ryan just put my glossy chapstick on. <laughs> His lips are very glossy. <laughs> well, we got ready in like literally under 30 minutes. Just curled my hair really quick. And this is the outfit. <clears throat> got a Princess Polly top on, some Abercrombie jeans, and then I'm forced to wear sneakers again because we're gonna like walk all the way down to the beach because we're gonna take a boat to dinner. So I'm gonna bring like <laughs> also a cardigan, probably a windbreaker jacket. Should I bring the windbreaker jacket? I don't know. I just like hate being cold. And honestly, I'm kind of regretting not bringing my puffer because that would have just been simpler, but you know, not everyone fits in the bad bitch genre. Everyone's like, are you cold? Are you cold? I'm like, you guys don't get it, okay? This view is never going to get old, but I think tomorrow it starts the bad hey, weather. Are you guys ready? No. Yeah. Well, the last clip was just me saying I wasn't cold. Hi, daddy. Show what you have in your hand. <laughs> What's that? Leave home without it. What is that? Da 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 You can drink it, water, it's a promise. It's not fucking water. It's in case the boat sinks. <laughs>
well, it is the next day and today we're gonna do more touring around Positano. I feel like we haven't gone to all of the shops yet. We definitely went downstairs towards the beach area and I thought that was it, but there's like shops all around like the road. So I think that's what we're gonna try to hit up today and do a little shopping. This is like the iced coffee that they gave me. It was like literally in like a margarita blender thing. So hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's sugary. Because I only like sugary coffee. I literally thought these were chocolate chips on top. They're espresso. <laughs> we also got like two little, um, oh wait, oh yeah, croissants. And then this is a arancini. It's like a rice ball. It's like very filmy. Please test. Oh, it's horrible. It's very foamy. Mm. 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 They're called crispy, right? Super crispy. Crackly. That's so good. I'm just like. In case you're right now. Kind of reminds me of potato, but the inside is kind of sweet. nap in my life. I literally passed out on this beanbag right here. We were so sleepy. We ended up coming back home and chilling because I think that's what we need to do. I think we just need to like catch up on our sleep to be honest. Um, but I slept under this beautiful lemon tree. I spent a lot of time sleeping today and I don't know if I'm gonna regret it or not but it was much needed because not only, you know, jet lag. I mean, I feel like we got over jet lag the first couple of days, but we've been staying up really freaking late, so we needed to catch up on our sleep for sure. And tonight we're gonna go to dinner right down at the beach at a place called Rada. And then, what else, what else? Oh, right now we're gonna go get ice cream because we have not had, well, gelato since we've been here. So we're gonna go find some and hopefully it's good. Obviously it will be. I've also seen like, where they give lemon sorbets in like a half of a lemon, which looks really good. Right now, I just want something like super sweet, so I think I'll just go for like the normal gelato. Going back to the spot where we had coffee, this view is just so good. This is at the wine shop, but they actually have coffee and some grocery stuff too. The temperature is dropping by the second and we already tried our gelato and it's really creamy. Mm. But you know how she was saying like, oh, like her friend is three generations of making gelato? Mm. Like, I would think that about every gelato maker for some reason, like that they've been doing it for so long. Wow. We also got pizza. I think my diet's literally going to be pasta and pizza. This looks good. Mm. What? Mad about that. A little. Ryan could eat it for every meal, but I just, I don't know. I mean, it looks really good, but um, yeah, it's getting cold. I only brought this like one sweater. I needed a rest and recovery day today. Yeah, girl. I have a meeting in like 45 minutes, so I'm gonna head back. I wake up. So. I got blackberry and chocolate, and then you got coffee, right? Coffee and caramel, too. And coffee's better. I mean, this is big. Baked pasta. Mm -hmm. I'm making cheese inside. <laughs> Is it good? Maybe one of you. I want to split it. Let's see. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a game changer if they have like air fryers, and then that like outside would be like crispy, you know? 
it's not really crispy. I just threw on a sweater and a scarf, but I really am wishing I brought a coat. And Ryan's looking spicy in his sports coat. Show it off, show it off. This is the new one. He bought it for the wedding we went to in Tampa in December. You don't have to cut it open yet. What do you mean? Like this thing. You have to cut it open? Yeah, you have a couple stitches in there. Hmm. Well, you look good. Yeah. I feel like I should have dressed nicer, but I don't really have like a nicer sweater, so. I have just like um, what I was wearing this morning, just like that turtleneck shirt and the white oh. jeans. We're gonna go down to the beach and those stairs are brutal because like, even like on the way down, you would think it would be easy, but your legs end up shaking so bad. Like the first time we went down there, I was like, am I okay? Is something wrong with me? But now I'm just like kind of used to the feeling of it. It is our last day in Fuzzitano and the last two days it was raining pretty bad. We didn't do much. We did go to Ravello and it was kind of like this city with really beautiful gardens, but it was still kind of like overcast the day we went, but still super pretty. We're headed out to brunch and then we are going to Florence today at 4 p.m. So we're gonna take a car go to Naples and then Naples has a main train station that we got a ticket for to go to Florence. So it'll be our first train ride of our little Italy trip. So it'll be very interesting. I'm wearing this set that I got from Petal and Pup. And usually I'm not like a floral gal, but I thought it was very fitting. It's very like flowy and just really pretty. <laughs> Sandy. Oh, it feels good. Oh, come on. Oh, no. <laughs> I know. No regrets. Pull me off though. Yeah, I know. Ah, it's so cold. <laughs> A sleeping kitty cat. It's breathing, guys, I swear. Apparently, there's a lot of stray cats over here. The car is coming to get us and we're gonna go to Naples and then from Naples we'll go to Florence at the train station but we're packing right now and please explain to me why our suitcases are almost not closing because maybe Ryan bought like one pair of pants here but like but I can't remember anything else that we like bought here so I'm just so confused how nothing's fitting in the suitcases because on the way here we actually had some room in our suitcases they were just really heavy so we had to like leave them like having so much space but i'm just so confused right now um so yeah we have like 30 minutes to get everything wrapped up and head out the door and um i think it's about an hour and a half to naples in the car and then I can't remember how long, I think the train rides may be like three hours, but I'm hoping it's really scenic. So we'll see about that. Bye, Pussy Tana. Bye. 